to our virtual art classroom. I hope you guys are all enjoying your time at home with your family. Um, I hope you also are getting a chance to create some artwork at home. Just because we're not in the classroom doesn't mean we can't find a way to create together. So in this next project, we're going to be focusing on bunny rabbits. With Easter being around, right around the corner, we tend to think of the Easter bunny or just springtime bunny rabbits. So we're going to be doing a drawing of a bunny rabbit. We're also going to be focusing on texture in this project. So what is texture? Texture is when you feel something the way that it feels. So for example, it could be rough like sandpaper. It could be smooth like a glass. It could be soft and fuzzy like a puppy dog. So although texture, we usually think about the surface quality of the object and the way that it feels, in art, it is not always about actually touching the artwork and feeling its texture. Sometimes texture can be created visually. And what this means is as an artist, we are trying to convince the person that is looking at our artwork that they can imagine the way the soft teddy bear would feel or the rough sandpaper or the bumps on a basketball. We're painting it so detailed that the viewer can imagine that texture. All right, guys. So I apologize that the drawing is going to be done sideways. I'm doing the best I can with technology here at home. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing and I'll turn it around when it's all finished. So the first thing we're going to do is with our pencil, just in case we make a mistake, we can always erase, we're going to draw the head of the bunny. So what I did for that is I'm going to just draw a circle or an oval. And on the sides of it, I'm just going to add some cheeks sticking out. So just going to come out to the side like this. If you'd like, you can just draw that shape to begin with, or you could go back in and erase those lines so that we have the chubby bunny rabbit cheeks. Now that we have the shape for our head, I left plenty of room at the top to add in those tall bunny rabbit ears. I'm gonna do one up really tall and I think I'm gonna make my other one so tall that it flopped down to the side. So there's my other bunny rabbit ear just kind of flopped over. The next thing I'm going to do is add in my bunny rabbit nose by just drawing half of a triangle. And then I'm going to draw the little bunny rabbit smile. You may draw the bunny rabbit's eyes however you would like. And then I'm going to add in the little shoulders for the bunny rabbit. Once you're happy with the way that your bunny rabbit looks, you can go ahead and outline him in Sharpie. Now that my bunny rabbit is outlined in Sharpie, I'm going to start adding the texture using a thin Sharpie. You could use a black colored pencil for this or a black pen, anything that's nice and thin. I'm going to start by working around the mouth of the bunny rabbit. So all I'm going to do is make very little lines that represent the fur of the bunny rabbit. Notice how I'm sort of creating a circle around the bunny rabbit's mouth. Once I'm finished this row of lines, I'm going to start a new row outside of it. Again, I'm still making sort of a circular direction with my lines. These are all the little tiny hairs on the bunny's face. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and keep filling in my, my bunny rabbit and come back and show you what it looks like when I'm finished. I finished up my bunny rabbit. I added all of the little lines in. It does take a little bit of time, but I think the result is really cool. It's a really stylized texture to my bunny rabbit. I also went ahead and finished up what is going to be the background for my bunny rabbit. So on your backgrounds, I want you guys to think about using some type of pattern. So in mine, I have a combination of stripes and polka dots. I also tried to use bright colors that I think of with springtime and Easter. I used watercolor paints. You could really use 
whatever you'd like to use. I'm just looking to see that you can create a background pattern. In a minute, I'm just going to cut out my bunny rabbit and glue it onto my background, and then I'll show you the finished product. There you have it. There is my bunny rabbit cut out and put on my colorful background. And just for a little bit of extra fun, you can, if you'd like, go ahead and cut out some fun glasses out of colored construction paper to add to your bunny rabbit. I look forward to seeing all of your examples of this project. You guys can go ahead and email them to me. But remember, just have fun with it, um, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a great day.